Vitruvian bones essentially allow us to swap out different poses for, let's say, for instance, our limbs. Let's say with the Kusi character here, you wanted to create a few examples of the arm bending. Perhaps it's raising up, perhaps it's relaxed like it is right now, and maybe we have one where she's pointing forward. With this setup, you can then swap between these different poses with the arm with ease, which can help greatly with different animation obstacles and overall can help speed up the workflow process depending on how you plan to animate. So to begin, let's figure out how we can create a simple system to make the Vitruvian bones work. I'm going to come over here to the Kusi layer and I'm on the bone layer. To begin, I'm just going to come in here and remove these arm bones. So that way we just have a blank slate here when it comes time to start working. Now, what I want to do is also come over here to the hand just to make this a little bit more simplified. And I'm just going to select all the points for the hand, cut it out, go to the arm, and then paste it in. So that way it's on the same layer. And then I can come up here to the hand and just remove that for right now. So here we have our first arm and I'm just going to name this one front arm, let's just say straight. Then I want to duplicate this arm. So we'll just duplicate it and I can rename this second one to front arm bend. And while on front arm bend, I'm just going to come in here with the select points tool, lasso around and grab the bottom portion of the arm and just come in and adjust it. So we're just going to go something like this and we can bring the arm over like that to create a little bend and then we can come over here and just reposition the points so that they're closer to where we want them. Then we can do one more. So let's go to front arm. And in this case, we'll do raised. So I'll just name it raised. And I can come over here again to the select points tool. And I'll start here just by coming in and I'll grab the arm and let's just move it out this way this time just for a little variety. And then we'll grab the other pieces of the arm here and just move it up like so. Perhaps do a little rotation here. Something like that. And then we can come in here and make any corrections we feel are needed for this design. So something like that. It should give us a good idea of how this could be used. Okay, so now the next step is to go in to your bone layer and add in bones that are outlining each of these poses. So let's go back here to the Kusi layer and let's click on the add bone tool. I can alt click and click on the chest bone. And to make this easier to see, I'm just going to come in here and hide the first two arms and just focus on front arm straight. So with that bone still selected, I can come in here and just click and drag and move down like this one more like so and then we'll create a bone like that for the hand let's hide front arm straight go to front arm raised and we want to alt click on the chest bone once again and then we can come in and draw out the next bones so just coming in like this three bones outlining the shoulder the bend of the arm and then the hand and then we'll do bend so here we have the bend and actually looking at this just to make it a little bit easier to work with, I'm going to select that entire arm and just rotate it a little bit more like this. So that way it's easier to differentiate the bones here. And we can also color code the bones and name them, but I think doing this will also help just a little bit with this purpose. So we'll go like that. And then we can come back here to that bone layer, make sure we have that chest bone selected and then come in here and we can add in our bones going like this. So we have three poses, and as you can see, the bones are now matching those three poses. So next, we need to bind these layers appropriately. Let's start with front arm bend. And I'm just going to come in here, maybe zoom in a little bit. We want to use the select bone tool and make sure we select the bones that are related to the bend of the arm 
and then choose to link bones. Come over here to front arm raised, and we're going to do the same thing. So select those bones, and then come up here and link your bones. And then we have front arm straight. So come in here and just highlight those bones and then choose to link. The final step here to get this set up, let's go back here to the bone layer and deselect all bones. And I want to come over here now and click on Vitruvian Bones Tool. So click on that. To do this now, we're just simply going to come in and this works very similar to the Select Bone Tool. I'm going to click once on the bend of the arm for this first bone, hold and shift, click on the second pose's first bone, and then do the same for the third pose as well. And at the top, you'll see that we have the ability to group. So we're going to click on group. You'll now notice that only one arm is visible right now. You'll also notice with that visibility being a big thing, that this bone is also marked a little bit differently, indicating that it is a Vitruvian bone compared to any of the other bones that you're currently working with. So from here, let's say you're animating out and let's just grab the character here. And let's say you get to this point in the animation where you just want to come down and you're raising your arm and you have this set to a Vitruvian bone. So we can come over here and we have this selected and we also want to make sure that we have the Vitruvian Bones tool selected. And let's say at this point, I want her to bend her arm. Well, we have this active bone drop down right here. So come in and you can see that we have the three bones that we grouped in here. So if I click on B40, you can see it's going to switch over to that new pose. If we go to B43, it's going to go in and just switch over. So this is a great way to set up defined poses with your character. Maybe she moves her arms a certain way, and whenever she talks, maybe she talks with her hands. You could always set up the pose so that way, when she starts to talk, maybe she's getting more into what she's saying, you could have the bones then put the arms out, or you could have them do really anything you want. And from here, you could just build up a pose list, and perhaps you even want to go in and further rename the bones. So maybe B43 can be referred to as front arm bend. So then when you are going through your Vitruvian bones here, you can see right here, we have front arm bend is the one that's named that. So then we could go to B40 and perhaps we want to name this one arm goes back or perhaps, you know, reaching back or however you want to describe that within your workflow. But this hopefully gives you a good idea of how you can work with Vitruvian bones inside of Moho.